going on. <laughs> These are the lads that played. <laughs> Sky Sports, if you ever need a presenter, I'll be there for you. <laughs> Before we come away, the missus was like, oh, you're back off on your boys' holiday again. And that's what it kind of feels like, you know. We all made up to be back together, and it, it brings back the memories from the summer. We created such a bond, and um, now we've got to go and do it again. So 22 pictures down there. There's mostly good ones. There might be a few bad ones. A couple, maybe, that you won't want to look back on. So all you need to do, just turn one over and tell us the first thing that pops into your head. It's great that we could create such an environment in, in our, you know, in, in the nation really, where everyone was happy and, and you know, wanted to, to watch the squad. From the outside, I can imagine it looked pretty incredible, but from the inside, it was something that I've not really experienced ever in my life. After the game, seeing all the scenes, getting the messages, um, and getting the videos really of just, you know, everyone around the country seeing the beer flying and um, I think it became a bit of a popular thing when everyone was out. We know England's history in, in penalty shootouts. Great memory, obviously. First keeper for so many years to save a penalty in the penalty shootout. Our first knockout win in years. Um, first penalty shootout win as well, so no, it was a, it was, that was a, an unbelievable feeling. Something that I'll never forget, just on top of the world, really. Of course, I thought the worst after after missing a penalty, so I was just so relieved that we managed to do it and get through to the next round. When Eric scored that goal, the, the emotions just went sky high. Oh, Gaffer. What a nice one. <laughs> Look at the, the passion he showed. Uh, the fans saw that in him. And they, they loved every minute of it. They loved every minute of him. To see your manager react like that uh, just drives you on to, to do even better. So, great tournament for, for us, but for, for the Gaffer as well. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's typical, isn't it? Because you actually put a message out about this, didn't you, on social media? Yeah, yeah. Saying... So this was, um, I think he actually got the golden tweet in the, the World Cup. I bet he couldn't remember his tweet, could he? Look at the size of his head, so <laughs> it doesn't struggle to get a good connection. I thought recovery day, so footballers say that as if there's a bit of a science to it. Yeah. It just means mucking around, does it? Well, in, in this <laughs> case, yeah. <laughs> we trained in the morning, set pieces. Uh, trips and Ash won free kicks. Youngie put one in right in the top corner, and then was like, Youngie's on it, Youngie's <laughs> on it, and then Trips went and put it in the top corner as well. Had you not scored in training, you wouldn't have taken the free kick in the game, right? No, no, I wouldn't have taken it in the game. But what a moment for Trips, what a moment for England to to get to the semi final and then obviously to go one new up as well. That's when you started to believe. Special moment for myself, personally, uh, first England goal and. For it to come in a World Cup semi-final was a dream come true. But that's when I felt that England probably fell back in love with football, really. I think we brought the whole nation together and, you know, really proud the way we played and, and you know, we came home proud. Going forward, I feel as though we can, like, use all of these experiences in a good way. We have an identity now and the future looks quite bright for us. We have to keep improving. We can't stop and say this is our level. We know what this team's capable of achieving. We've really... Set, set the bar high and now we need to keep pushing it and I think that's the end. I think we've got so much potential to, to, do, to do great things together and, and I think we're right at the start. We want to be the best team in the world. 